Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I thought I would tell you about the pedal board that I built and the effects that I have on it. I'm playing a BC Rich Mockingbird, my favorite model of guitars. This is the Legacy ST 50th year anniversary. That's a mouthful. It's easily one of, if not the most playable guitar I own. Super smooth and also the most expensive one. Before this board I had a much simpler version. Uh, the thing with that board was that the ability to cable manage was zero. And slowly the spaghetti of wires and cables drove me nuts. I started researching online pre-built boards that would fit my specifications. But they were either too small or too big, cost too much. It was too much of a hassle. So I decided build over buy. I made my own board. This board is made from an industrial shelf, which I cut up and screwed together and added handtag in English. Uh, not that this is a board that you would easily carry around with you. If I ever need to take any of these effects with me on the road, I will build a smaller, more compact gigging board. The main unit of my setup is the Boss GT100. This is the main workhorse of this setup and it's the single unit I bring to rehearsals and shows. This board is mostly extra and it lives in the studio and it's very versatile since I'm doing a lot of different kind of genres in here. It's nice to have a plethora of effects to give me the sound that I need for a particular song. With this board I got a stereo speaker setup. One of the speakers is a PV Bandit 112. This is my first speaker, still got it. I think I've had this for 17 years now, 16, 17 years. Uh, basically I've had this for as long as I've been playing electric guitar. The other speaker is an Orange Crush 35, which I bought with the intentions to get a more variety of sound, but mainly to get a stereo setup. In the middle I got a Promethean, which is a bass amp, which I use for the SY200 as a dedicated amp just for that effect. I don't have it hooked up with a microphone at the moment. It is something that I will do in a near future though. Anyhow, let's get going with the playthrough of this board. The signal goes from the Mockingbird into the Switchblade. The Switchblade splits the signals into two. One signal goes directly out again and into my audio interface, uh, Focusrite Scarlett 1820, so I can record a DI. The other signal goes into the Freakout, which is an artificial sustainer pedal. And it can sound something like this. So it produces feedback that you essentially only can get if you have your amps cranked really, really high. From the Freakout we have the Freeze by Electroharmonics. It just freezes the sound as it is when you tap it. So for example... And as long as I keep my foot on it, the sound continues. Quite nice to have. And from the freeze we go up to the Whammy by Digitech. This is a pitch shifter. Quite neat to have. Then I got two, two Wawa pedals. Um, like many other, I started out with the Crybaby by Dunlop, but I figured that wasn't really the exact sound that I wanted. After much trial and error, I found out that these two Vox pedals were the sound that I wanted. <laughs> And the second one. A 
As you can hear, we have a slight tonal variety. Signal then goes from the Vox and into the GT100, the, the main board, the one I said that I bring on rehearsals and shows. And the bass sound of that is just... <laughs> Also got a couple of clean sounds, some with modulation, so I can easily just bring the GT100. From the GT100 I split the signal going into the Boss SY200, which can sound something like this. I like to have it as drones, adding stabs, some orchestral stuff. The signal then goes out from the GT100 and back into the board and enters the DD8, a digital delay by Boss, which I have set in stutter mode. That is to give those glitchy kind of effects. It then goes into the phase shifter, the PH3, also by Boss. A very classic kind of phase of sound. And up until this moment, the whole chain has been in mono but enter the big shot ABY by radial. This takes the mono signal and splits it. One goes to the PS6 harmonist and then into the DD7 and then into the PV bandit. The other signal goes into the mimic, the DD7 and then into the orange amp. First the PV bandit with the harmonist. <laughs> and delay. I got it set for a short slapback delay at the moment. And the other channel. And what the Mimic does is it basically delays the signal by a very very short amount. So when you play in stereo it sounds like you have almost two guitarists. Not really but it gives somewhat of that effect. So without... And with... The sound gets a little bit fuller. And that... That is the board. Thank you for watching this kind of nerdy video about my pedal board and I hope to see you around in the next video. Hello.